Many STs around Scotland have decided on subject choices for S3. Many people find the decision hard for a number of reasons. Some people think there are too many or not enough subjects to choose from. Another problem is the responsibilities that come with it. The choices that you make can affect your future. There is a lot of subjects to choose from. You must take maths, English, RE, PSC and PE. You also need to take a language, German or French, a science, physics, biology and chemistry, a social subject. Modern studies, history and geography, and expressive art, art, drama, music, and elective PE. You must also take one tacky, HE, business admin, computing, graphcom, engineering science, woodwork, or metal work. You also take a few choice. Um, I think they're quite flexible and uh, they're good. Um, I think they're quite good, but I think you should be available. Um, I think there's a vast majority and it's just really good this year. You have to make these decisions. Uh, well, yeah, probably because we've been in the school for two years now, so we've made these decisions. Uh, yeah, I do because we've already had our first year, so we've had time to learn what we like. From all the options, which one do you really want to take? HE. Which ones what do you really want to take? Um, PE. Do you really want to take? Uh, I'd like to take music. Is there enough or not enough? Yeah, I think there's enough. I think there's a lot of ones that I haven't heard of. Which enough is okay. or not enough? Yeah, I think there's enough. Is there any subject you uh, I think that's quite a lot. As um, there's even Spanish, which I think is quite um, uh, exotic. So I, I'm, I'm I'm quite uh, interested in the amount. Of... Mrs. Zamsley is a guidance teacher at the Gordon Schools. She helps pupils all the time, and subject choices is a common topic with her. What do you think of subject choice? I think subject choice, say for the students at the Gordon Schools, is very good and it gives them an opportunity to have a broad curriculum. Do you think S2s and S3s are old enough to make these decisions? Um, we've all to make decisions at some time in our life and uh, you know unfortunately you have to start choosing at quite a young age. Uh, but you know if you make the wrong choice that can be uh, fixed as well so it's not a set in stone. As a guidance teacher, what is your advice to students who don't know what to choose? Well, my advice, uh, and what I was advised as a student myself, uh, was to take as broad a curriculum as possible to give you a wide choice and a wide experience of education. If you were choosing, what would you take? I think I discussed this before, didn't I, in class? Do you remember? Mm -hmm. uh, my subjects, uh, when I was in second year going into third, were English, maths, French, geography, chemistry, biology, and home economics. Do students run into any problems in their future because of what they choose? Yeah. How? Um, I have uh, experienced them making bad choices. Sometimes they take a subject because they're influenced by what their friends are taking. Mm -hmm. They're influenced by perhaps a teacher that they really like. Uh, but when it actually comes to studying the subject, it, it's proven to be not really suitable for them. Mm -hmm. For example, someone taking art and they don't have a flair for art. Someone taking music and they're tone deaf. Uh, so, but we managed to rectify that and because it's the subjects from, for example, two into three is for one year only, they can re-choose when they go into fourth year. Okay. Mrs. Grant is in charge of S1s and S2s. Like Mrs. Emsley, she helps people when it comes to making these decisions. And we're going to interview about subject choices. Right. Okay, girls. What do you think of the subject choices available? I think at the Gordon Schools we have a good range of subjects available. Had we been a slightly bigger school, obviously we could have more subjects, but I think given the size of the school we offer a good range of subjects. Do you think we are mature enough to make these decisions? 
Right, you guys are what, second year? Yes, yes I think by the end of second year you've, you've had the experience of two years of a variety of different subjects and yes, I'm sure you know uh, the subjects you're good at and they're probably the subjects that you like best. So certainly at this point in time, I think it's a good idea and that you are mature to choose general subjects to take you into your senior phase. What is your advice to students who are finding it hard to choose? If you are hard in, finding it hard to choose, I just would always say, choose the subjects you like best. But I would also give advice as to don't choose subjects just because your pals choosing them and don't choose subjects just because you like the teacher because these kind of things change. So it's really just you think to yourself, what do I enjoy and what am I good at? And that's the way I would make your subject choice at this stage. If you were choosing, what subject would you like to take? Am I just allowed one or am I allowed a few? A few. Right, I can actually probably remember the subjects that I liked. I would definitely have chosen English. I would definitely, definitely choose PE. But when I went to school, you didn't get to choose that. You just had to take it and you didn't get the extra like you do nowadays. I would choose Art and Design and I would choose History. These would be my favourite subjects and these were subjects that I, cho that I chose when I was at school. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Right, thank, thank you. you very much, girls. I hope you got on okay. Subject choosing is very important. It affects everybody at some point in secondary schools. Many people have different views on the matter, all with mixed reasons. Subject choosing will always be something we have to do. For people who are struggling to decide or are worried about it, there is many websites to help. Also, you can talk to your guidance teacher or head of year. This is Lauren reporting for TGS Business School.